We are at Lansingburg with Hood's House of Hoops on day two of the Carolina Classic. Fellas, how are you feeling after your game today? Great. Great. Great? Yeah, great. Great. Yeah. great. And this is your varsity team? Mm -hmm. yes. With our one young gentleman who actually played up. What does that feel like for you to play up, for you to be 14 but playing with the with the older gentleman? What's that like? Be, being young but then being mentored by them? like a fun experience. Fun experience? Yeah. Fun experience? How did it feel today for you to play and not have anybody to sub you? What was that like? I feel like we had to come together as a team. Like, we had to depend on each other. No, we don't got no bench that we had to play smart and be humble. But it's weird because, like, we had a bad start, but I feel like out of everyone, we got, like, we got a great chemistry, like, as a group, collective. So it was, like, good that us five is, if, if it was any five, I'm glad it's us five. So l let me do this, too. I'm going to go, I'm going to start with you here. If you'll tell me your name, and then if you'll tell me how old you are. Jai Elting, 17 years old. And what position do you play? Center. Anthony McCray, 18. I play point guard, one through four. Uh, Jordan Hood, 14. Shooting guard, point guard. Darius Horn, 17. I play one through three. Jaden Hood, 16. Play the one and two. two. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so, so what's your name and how old are you? Um, Furman, Furman Fabian, I'm 16. Okay, and you didn't have the opportunity to play with these gentlemen today, but I presume that you sat on the sideline and you watched. Mm -hmm. As a spectator to your sport and your team, how did you feel with knowing that these men were out there working and there's no subs, there's nobody to help them, all they got is to rely on one another? Uh, it definitely felt, I felt kind of hopeless because I'm kind of, I'm injured right now, and it felt, it, it was great sitting on the bench watching them work, coming back, playing hard, and winning the game, so. So when, when these five get called in and they got to come in because we got a timeout because we need to regroup, did you have anything to give to the, these young men from what you're seeing, being part of a team? Because regardless if you're playing or not, you're still team. What did, did you feed them anything to put them back out there feeling more positive? Yeah, of course. Uh, like, we were in shooting slumps, telling them to keep shooting. Like playing together, kind of broke down a little bit in the first half. Had to had to regroup as a as a team. And when you young men are out there playing, and like you said, like you had a rough start, right? But do you guys talk to each other on the court? Do you feed each uh, other on the court? Are you looking for each other on the court? Are you giving each other the corrective criticism? Right as that? Right we don't put each other down at all. I, Never. I get the most criticism, but I also uplift them for the best. It's not. Even when we're down, we still together, though. No matter what, we're always going to fight together. No matter what. I agree with all that. You agree with all that? Yeah. What's it feel like, okay, Coach Hood is, is well known. He's done a lot of stuff for the community. Uh, he puts himself in positions to always make sure that he can help, not just as a coach, but as a man figure, as a father figure, as an uncle. How has he impacted you guys outside of basketball? Uh, I think he looks at all of us as family. Like, besides the basketball, if, if he got something and we need it, He'll look out for us no matter what, no matter what it is. I feel like Coach Hood is a good mentor, and I feel like he like he he steers in the right path. Like say if say if we was going somewhere else, he'd be like, no, come to the gym, we open the gym for us. You know what I'm saying? Let us shoot around. So you guys, the five of you, just took that game. Tough game because it was tied at one moment. When a game is tied, what do you guys tell yourselves? Or you tell each other to pull it? When you know that it's it's down to it's down to them last couple minutes to get that basket. It's just us. Like we gotta like just go out there and kill, take the lead and win. That's it. Minor mistakes, but even if it's minor, you're still gonna get back from like I uplift them. Even even if they make the minor mistake. So you guys got one more game today, right, in order to be chip chip winners? So what are you gonna do between now and the time that you get back on that floor to make sure that you guys can pull this through and win the chip? Definitely rest because it's only five of us, and definitely prepare and make sure we're mentally focused for the next game. Locked in. You gotta be locked in. We're so just gonna sit together and talk, like like regular kids. All right. So what what are we gonna do to, to to put this together? Is everybody's gonna put their hands into the center, and on three we gonna just yell hoods. Count it down. What on three? One, two, three, hood. <laughs>